In this video I'm going to talk about the legend of Capablanca and the alien. The legend says that Capablanca was preparing for an important chess tournament by himself in the park with his own chessboard, when suddenly a UFO came flying and stopped in the middle of the air and an alien started coming down from it. It had weird noises, weird, weird lights, but Capablanca didn't bother. He, he continued doing his chess, he, he, he couldn't care less. The alien looking at Capablanca so invested in looking at this wooden board and these little things, all pieces of course, decided to ask Capablanca, what are you doing? To which Capablanca said, I'm playing chess, I'm analyzing chess games. And then the alien responded, what is that? What is chess? Explain me the rules of chess. So Capablanca, a little bit annoyed, he's, he's trying to analyze games, preparing for an important chess match. But he decides to explain the rules, this is the way you move the pieces, this is check, this is checkmate, stalemate. And by the end of this explanation, he says something along the lines of And, last but not least, when your pawn reaches the end, you can promote to any piece. So, now that Capablanca explained all the rules to the alien, the alien was very excited and decided to challenge Capablanca for a chess game. In the position you see on screen, we have Capablanca with the white pieces and the alien with the black pieces. So they reach this position. Clearly, Capablanca is winning. Capablanca has two bishops, two knights, and two pawns against, well, only two pawns. Of course, the kings we don't count because the kings are always over the board. And in this position, Capablanca played very confidently king c2 and was very happy. Why? Because Capablanca is threatening bishop d4 and that's going to be checkmate. So, for example, blacks only legal move, according to the chess rules, is to promote this pawn. Doesn't really matter what you promote, it could be anything, let's just say a queen, for the sake of the example, and then bishop d4, this is checkmate, you can't do anything, you can't go to a2, there's a pawn on the way, b2 or b1. The king is occupying b1, the bishop is occupying b2, the king is also occupying, so this is checkmate. But the alien found a way to not lose immediately. The alien promoted to a black king. Capablanca immediately said, hey, you, you can't do that, that's illegal. You, you, that's not part of the rules. But the alien told Capablanca, well, you told me very specifically that when a pawn reaches the end, you can promote to any piece you want. And a little bit of fighting happened, but eventually Capablanca realized his mistake. He shouldn't have explained the rules so quickly. And he went back to the position. He was a little bit frustrated with himself. Ah, I shouldn't have explained the rules so quickly. But then eventually, after a little bit of thinking, he came up with an idea. Now that idea wasn't bishop d4 anymore. If you go bishop d4, you might checkmate this king on a1. But the other king, this is the problem actually, of Capablanca. Capablanca was facing this problem, that this king on h1 wouldn't be checkmated. And in fact, it's not only that it, it's not checkmated, it's stalemated. You can't move this king, the black king, anywhere. So even though you play bishop d4, you do checkmate this king, but the other king is not checkmated. And as weird as, it, as that sounds, that's kind of a problem. So Capablanca, knowing this, and being very witty, decided to move this pawn, but not promote to a white queen, nor a knight, nor a bishop, nor a rook. He decided to promote to another black king. Now, of course, this is not... This is not real chess, but this is him playing against an alien with these new weird rules. And the point of this is that, sure, you can't move this king as the alien. If it's the alien's turn, you can't move the king on a1, you can't move the king on h1. But you can, and indeed the only move for the alien is to move the king on the new king, the new black king, the third and last black king on a8. So the alien had to play king b8, that's the only legal move. In this position, Capablanca pushed the pawn on h6 to h7. Once again, the alien doesn't have any legal moves. All of these, both, both of these kings are stalemated except this one. So black has to move the king to a8. And in this position, Capablanca didn't promote to one more black king. That would have been crazy. Capablanca promoted this pawn to a queen and checkmated the three kings at the same time. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that was entertaining. This is a legend that I was told when I was a well, younger, I'm, I'm young, but even younger. 
and I hope it brought you joy as much as it did to me and it well back in the day and right now if you have the time and if you would like to support this channel please subscribe give a like it would really I would really appreciate it and have a nice day